All right, I'm bringing you one of the one of the other provincial finals now out of China, and this is an exciting match. We have Extropy here, and three two three or three two eight three R against uh, on the blue lines two six six nine A and two zero eight one one W. You see a crazy fast rush out of Extropy there, and you know blue lines is gonna take this auto, so red is gonna have to you know kind of fight back here, but red does. And with a with quite a lot of a lot of rings, right? They, 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 not, sorry, a lot of goals. Blue has a lot of rings, right? Blue is going to win this auto just because of the sheer number of rings that they have. Red Alliance, unfortunately, does not have enough to compensate, right? Even though they have those top rings, right? Counting for extra points. Here, as the start of the match, we can expect some some movements out of these teams, right? We can expect definitely expect extra P to try to hold this hold this uh hold this blue lines off, right? However, with the amount of rings that they have, it might be pretty hard, right? Because they might they they didn't get that full goal in, right? It's gonna be pretty hard. Because for the blue lines here, uh, they all they need to do is get the swap off and they can really just do anything they want, right? And it's a very fast swap as well because um they have a full goal already. And this other one they can just turn around and grab it real quick, right? So all they have to do is do a spin and then grab this goal, and that's it, right? And they park parallel, and they're chilling, right? They park like this, and we're good. Uh, on the other hand, right, Red Alliance has a lot more to do, right? A lot more stuff that they need to accomplish before being able to move on and uh, and stop that that screen, right? This screen is going to be going to be the make or break of this match, and let's see what happens here. This match starts. That's extra pretty needing to hold that screen off against. I think that's a two six. Oh nope, not even going to be close straight into that positive corner right and steals that goal away i think the much better play there would for the blue lines is just to stay in that positive corner right if you have that positive corner control just keep it right remain remain in control of the positive corner right and because then there's pretty much no way the the red lines can really pull back from from that right because you have three goals any of the positive corners right and and one and your goals are pretty much filled so there's no, really no chance but here here now Blue is just gonna you know, play play a pretty safe game, right? Because I mean, they're still gonna be able to win even without that positive corner because of you know the three goal control, right? Both top six. So let's go back a little bit and see exactly how they managed to fill that entire stake up this quickly, right? Because that's really impressive. So blue here is just completely dominating on those on those win conditions, right? We can see here like 20 seconds ago they didn't have any of those rings filled up, and let's see what they do here. So that's two six six nine a. And they're gonna just uh, they're gonna just they're gonna just play these wall stakes and, and other blue lines is gonna completely leave right they're gonna completely leave this positive corner and you're gonna see how how that's that's possible right because here right you can see that they have all these points blocked off right so if red wants to come through here they need to get through blue and blue can just stop them right blue's acting like a wall here same thing on the top side right blue is, is acting like a wall right here so effectively. They're maintaining so much field control here, right? They're pretty much controlling like all of this, right? They're controlling all of this. So this is all blue now and blue territory basically. And if you want to really dive deep into into how how like t the technical details of the match, you can notice that a lot of these red rings are in blue territory, right? So you can see that that there's there's a lot of them. All here, right? So red really is going to run out of rings to score quickly if blue continues to play this this strategy here, right? Of course, I don't, I think this might have been un unintentional though. So we can see what happens, right? They're running. This is a great, yeah, a great duel right here, right? Com completely cutting off this this half of the field, right? And and red, you can say red's doing the same thing, but you really can't because uh, this one's just sitting in the corner, right? They really don't have much control over the field, and this one doesn't have much control over the field too, right? They have a lot of there's a lot of places that blue can can go into, right? There's a lot of there's a lot of locations that blue can just take over, right? So they're really not extending their their reach pretty much. Right? And blue is just controlling so much of the field. So also controlling so much of the red elements. Right? Uh which is unintentional, but of course, that helps. And bam, you can see this is actually a Okay, I thought that was a that was genius for a second, but maybe maybe it was let's go back for a second let me let me rewind so uh this blue team as as they got this as they got this this alliance or this this wall stake they came and right, they scored two and then they they scooped up a red ring and i was like bam that's so smart because they just took away more scoring elements but 
<laughs> then they, they decided to push both of them in front of the in front of the wall stick, right? And here we're gonna see some some high level plays <laughs> out of extra B here. They try to get into this corner, right? However, Blues are able to cut them off. And here is whenever this other blue alliance is completely unguarded, right? I think this is kind of just you know what you have to have to notice as a as a drive team, right? Here you can see them just piling those rings up, right? There's no 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 everyone's down here, right? There's no right <laughs> there's no defense up there at all, right? Because right now what can happen is is this team can totally leave, right? This team right here. Right, this red team, they can totally leave, right? Just like what the blue team did before, right? Prior, let's go back a little bit. Prior, we saw that after after the auto right, right here, right? Both teams left, right? They really tried to you know, take control. And and here, right, early on in the match, red actually had the advantage, right? Because they went to, they had, the th they had three goals and they tried to steal, uh, they, they tried to score these top stakes, right? This was smart, right? So blue, what did they do? They extended. They extended out and they extended out, right? to you know just fight back and regain those control however in the same circumstance now against the red team later on right whenever whenever the blue team is now is now trying to score those those wall stakes right red can do the same thing they can leave right they, they can they're they can pull up the same same field control right they can control this part of the field and they can push forwards and control this part of the field too right and push blue away so you can see that happen right here if you know, whenever whenever this happens, right, you can see that if they go here, they can control a lot of the field, and they can prevent blue from just dominating those wall stakes, right? Because they they, I think this is kind of a kind of a missed opportunity here, right? If they, if they just went over, then they would have been able to you know secure those those wall stakes much better, right? And bam, right, blue is those double d double wall stick mech, and just the whole thing is just filled. There's there's no coming back from that, right? It's all 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 gone now. Right, no chance. Every ring is filled, and now blue just has to defend, right? And it's very easy to defend, especially, especially here. It should be trying to just fight the, you know, <laughs> fight for fight for this this wall stick now, right? Even even though they have the top ring, right? And here, I think I don't know if they tried to. Oh, damn! That was a crazy <laughs> entanglement. Yeah, and they and they come back. <laughs> it looks like they're trying to entangle again. So. <laughs> I don't know. It could be a could be a DQ call, but however, I do think that flips the goal over though. Let me go back a little bit. Yeah, this them ramming into the into the blue team here flips their goal over, right? So definitely puts blue in a pretty big disadvantage, and they're going to steal that goal as well. So I don't really know why blue dropped this goal. But let me check a little bit. Yeah, they don't, I don't have no clue why why they dropped this goal. Right, they just dropped it. I'm guessing it might have been unintentional. Maybe it might have been a clamp failure, and they just took took that goal and then just started filling up with a. Uh, with red rings, right? I think I think in this I think in this instance it's not too bad to fill all those up with with red rings because blue is pretty much out of rings actually, right? They had there was like almost no blue rings on the field, so you can never have done a negative play with that, and and at the end here th that was an insane play if you saw that right here. I'll back up a little bit, and you can see that as the as the match right kind of draws to an end, you can see blue kind of just sliding in taking control of that wall stick and on the other hand right you see you see that's red that's extra b there also going for for, for a fall d score right so you know this is supposed this is pretty good right until until they sit still and blue just scores that top ring onto that goal and now there's nothing they can do they try to outtake there's nothing they can do they can't do anything about that right so i just want to to note that hey if you're if you're just holding <laughs> holding wall stick like that it's pretty easy like for a good driver to just plop a ring on, right? Like just like so, right? I mean, not 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 a pretty good driver, just a really really good driver, because that was quick, right? And bam, now now there's pretty now they just even that 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 score, and they just forced uh forced this red team to just completely stay stationary, right? There's nothing they can do now, right? Because because he kind of has to has to stick with with defense, right? He kind of has to defend this goal, or because because his because a goal. It's hard to de-score, right? Because you can't, you can't, I don't know, you can't really de-score this once you put it on, right? But the wall stick is pretty easy to de-score, so the basically forcing extra B here onto that wall stick, while while even uh, evening the, the points on the on the goals, right? So now there's a net positive zero for both teams because they just swapped rings, right? The ring from here 
just went to here. So now, uh, but but it's but it's actually worse for Red because now the Red robot is uh, stuck. Now he can't leave, right? If he doesn't want to get that Discord, he can't leave. And you can see that happened here, right? He just has to stay there the whole time, and Blue can just do whatever, right? Blue could even gone elsewhere uh, during this time, right? And that's what that's what that's what they do. They, they go somewhere else. But yeah, a great match, honestly, from both alliances, and so much, so much stuff to, to analyze in this match, right? Especially, right, with some of the parts we have to remember, have to remember is just controlling field, and knowing when to when to stay back off and when not to, right? And I think Blue Alliance does a great job in this match to you know control, control the tides, uh, the the narrative of this match, and just making sure that. Red has nowhere to play, right? Because so some of these places are kind of some of these are kind of crazy, right? They're they're controlling so much of the field right now, right? They're controlling they were controlling all the way up to here, right? And kind of just pushing the Red Alliance to literally only have this section to play in, right? Red, if you really look at where the where the Red team can play, right? Uh, they, they, if, if blue if you draw a line here, the Red team can really only play in like here, right? They're they're pretty because. You know, I have it cut off from where the blue robots are, right? So if you cut off from where the red robots are, they have literally this much place to, uh, place to play in, right? Which, guess what? There's no red rings in this place. There's no red rings, right? They can't do any scoring. All the red rings are here. They're they're all in the blue controlled locations, right? And here we can just call this a neutral location, right? So I guess just uh, take in uh, this pretty much, right? So if you want to... Take a screenshot. I think this is, I think this is a good way to analyze matches. If you if you have any suggestions for me, then just leave them down in the comments. But yeah, thanks.